This is fun. Didn't grow up in the country, okay? I grew up with a family farm. No, nah, like, oh, look at you, baby. Go on. Go away from the face. <laughs> All right, guys, I have some exciting news for you. For those of you who have been following our channel for a while, you know that uh, my wife and I started a nonprofit uh, production company about a year ago. And what our nonprofit's been doing for the past year is going around and uh, documenting small farms and, and sharing, well, the idea is that we'll eventually share those documentaries with you guys and help uh, connect consumers with farmers and, and help people understand a little more about um, agriculture, how it works, uh, the humane side of things, and, and just sharing the good that people are out there doing. So uh, we had been trying to get a camper to reduce the costs of traveling to these farms. And especially right now, we're, uh, we're working on a, on a project that's gonna go as far west as Wyoming. And so um, it it's, could be very, very expensive to travel around and stay in hotels or Airbnbs and things like that. Um, so we had, a while back, we tried to raise some funds to purchase a camper. We were thinking we wanted an RV that we could just drive because we have an older car. Um, but I think a lot of people had some good points about the old RVs. It is a little better to just have a trailer of some sort. But either way you look at it, campers, trailers, the whole nine yards, they can be expensive. And uh, it's usually, you can get a good deal on the ones that nobody else can pull with a car because they're so big. So we think we found a solution to the problem. We, uh, we, we found this uh, great little pop-up camper and uh, it's lightweight, so it's easy to tow. We could tow it with our older car. And it was pretty much right in line with what we had raised for a camper for the nonprofit at this point in time. But with all the projects we have coming up, we couldn't forego any longer and try and raise more funds for it. So we had to settle on something and we went with this one and um, it's turned out pretty well. I think that it'll, it'll do a good job for us.
aftermarket modifications. That we are undoing. Clever. Uh oh. Does it not actually come out? It does. It's just pinched. Don't rip the canvas. I just need to be able to scrub it. The most time consuming thing is this wiring. Of course, I get this wiring off. I'm gonna finish unscrewing this back cabinet. And then we can take these boards out. It almost seems warped. Isn't it? Say what? This board seems like it's. Or like it's bowed in the center. It's got it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. I wondered that because of whenever it was out, it looked like it was. Like I could see the bottom of the board. And I wondered if it was be just because of the bungees not being tight. But I didn't quite know how that worked. <laughs>